Welcome inside Davis Motorsports. I'm Lee Kraft, the Monday Morning Racer. Let's take a closer look next. <laughs>
Justin Ashley pilots this strutmasters.com, autoshocker.com, top field dragster, fielded by Davis Motorsports. And for more information on this hot rod, let's have a word with Jason Bunker. And he is the car chief on this hot rod with Davis Motorsports. Well, look, man, so that folks know, give me the rundown on Davis Motorsports itself. So Davis Motorsports is owned by a gentleman named Dustin Davis. Uh, he's located in Santa Rosa, California, a demolition contractor by trade. Um, and now we are uh, forging away into the uh, NHRA Mellow, Mellow Yellow Series with the top fuel car. Definitely, and you've got a good driver in Justin Ashley piloting this hot rod. And speaking yeah. of this car, give me the rundown on it. Year, chassis, and the best times that y'all have run so far. Yeah, so it's a Don, Ch Don Schumacher chassis. Uh, it's actually the car Justin actually licensed in. Uh, it was Antron's car prior to this. Uh, we acquired it early in 2018. Uh, 2019, I apologize, 2019. And uh, over the course of 2019, put it together, got licensed, went testing, uh, and made our debut there in Charlotte. We're in Charlotte, Vegas, Pomona. And uh, we're very happy with where this, where this is going. So, Definitely. What are the plans here in 2020? What's coming up? Well, we've got 14 events on the schedule this year, starting off in Las Vegas with, with the PRO test session. Uh, then heading to Pomona, Phoenix, Gainesville to start the year, and then throughout there we'll basically be running once a month through the end of the year. Uh, get a busy schedule towards the end of the year with Vegas, Pomona uh, to finish it up. But uh, 14, 14 events on the schedule, um, and really, really looking forward to it. So, man, I've noticed hanging out with the crews of several teams so far that, yes, there's titles, but everybody does multiple jobs. They wear the multiple hats. Yeah. So you've got car chief to your credit, but what all do you do, in fact, from the shop and to a race weekend? Yeah, just trying to help manage everything, help all the guys on the car oversee, try to make sure everybody's positions are up to snuff as far as getting parts ready to go, anybody needs assistance and things. Uh, try to take pressure off Aaron, try to help him out, make things a little easier so we can focus on getting this car down the racetrack as fast as we can. Um, that's uh, really the, the simple part of it right there. All right, well, folks, Jason, the manager over the program, and he's got it all going forward in the right direction. And I can tell you that we got a shop that's in tip top shape, and I'm sure you play a part in that. Jason, thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. What track is this?
We've caught up with Greg Lynn here. He's the newest addition to the Davis Motorsports team that fields this Justin Ashley ride in NHRA Top Fuel. Greg, look man, tell us your journey. How did you get to this point? Where did you begin in drag racing? Who else have you worked for? Uh, I started out in 2016. I graduated college from Lincoln Tech. And then I, as soon as I graduated there, it's automatically on a Cruz Pedregon's uh, Top Fuel or Nitro Funny Car team. And I uh, worked there for two and a half years and uh, as a clutch assistant. And then I um, moved over here this off season, tried to try the dragsters out and we're gonna see how it goes over here. I'm currently now doing bottom end. So it's a new learning curve for me for sure. Yeah, you're the man where all the hot stuff falls. So it's gonna be very interesting as you're working doing the bottom end. Now, yes, you're in a NHRA environment. You're on a pit crew and these cars that go straight as fast as they can, but that's not the only form of motorsports you're in, as I have been able to learn in communicating with you. So share with us what else you're involved in. So I actually own my own uh, dirt. It's called, uh, you call it pier stock, factory stock, or bomber, depending on where you're located at. Uh, I've been doing that since high school. My uh, brother actually bought me my first one uh, my junior year, and I started at uh, my home hometown racetrack, Thunder Valley Raceway, and then I've been racing that ever since then. And I actually just got into a, a 305 sprint car ride this uh, season. Also, whenever I get time to, when I'm not drag racing, I get to go home and do that. So uh, I'm all about dirt racing. Dirt racing, man, is spectacular. Uh, dirt is where it's at. Now, you, I'm sure you have dreams and desires in drag racing and in motorsports overall so look as life continues where do you hope you get in this motorsports gig uh, um, uh, everybody wants to be a crew chief but uh i don't know i'm still wrapping my head around the dragsters and nitro itself so i don't know if i yet want to be a crew chief but i uh, I definitely want to be out here and race for a while, but eventually I think I want to get myself into a uh, the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series because I, I really, really like dirt in the sprint car racing, but I like drag racing a lot though as well. All right, so combo drag racing and sprint car racing. Last thing I've got to ask you, man, is your hair has a life of its <laughs> own, and tell me about this trademark brand you've basically created with your hair, why you began it and why you're even keeping it today. Uh, I just kind of did it, you know, everybody started doing it and getting back in the, getting back in the mullet, trying to bring it back and I didn't see anybody out here in the drag racing world. So I just ran with it. I made, I cut it and, uh, it's been growing ever since. Uh, so with Cruz, I put, you know, the snap on logo on the side of it and then breast cancer awareness came along. I put the ribbon in the side of my head and we're still trying to figure something out for here because they don't really have a tool sponsor or anything, so it's trying to figure something out still here. But the fans love it, so it just brings the attention. And uh, so I just keep it, and everybody likes it. Well, man, look, keep growing the hair, keep drag racing, keep up the sprint car racing, and enjoy motorsports. Thank you for your time, Greg. Thank you. Justin wasn't in the shop this particular time, but we'll catch up later with him at, at some particular NHRA national event. So be sure, like, subscribe to Monday Morning Racer, and you'll see him on camera eventually. Look, thank you to Davis Motorsports for the access, and be sure to follow them on social media, Justin Ashley as well, and look forward to this kid and this team having a great year in 2020. Thanks, guys. Not so fast, a bonus note for you. So while I was at the Davis Motorsports shop there in Pittsburgh, Indiana, a rap master came through the door. Now, I'm not referring to Dr. Dre or LL Cool J, but rather Hurricane Designs. They came through the door, they install wraps on a lot of motorsports applications and many other applications. They came in, they ripped off the old wrap and began installing a new look on the inflation. 
influencer top fuel dragster. So I was there at the beginning of the pulling off part, but I was not there to see the whole process or the finished product. But I do got you a few sneak peek photos of what the Justin Ashley, the influencer, Davis Motorsports top fuel dragster will look like in 2020. Hey, I hope you have enjoyed this installment of Shop Tours by Monday Morning Racer. Definitely check out the previous episodes and hit that subscribe button because more episodes like this and a lot of great things for 2020 are in the works coming down the pipeline for you, a valued viewer. Thank you, and until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal. By the way... Now, a word for our sponsor from Monday Morning Racer. Oh, man, that was a great shower. Folks, look, if you've been out at the track, been enveloped in burnout smoke, wafted by nitromethane fumes, been hit with the dirt, the grime, and the rubber chunks of the track, you want a good shower experience at the end of the day. And look, don't worry about getting anything off the shelf from the supermarket. Rather, if you want a great shower experience, you need to pick up Hero Soap from Hero Soap Company. Now, Hero Soap is all-natural, essential oils infused soap made by veterans. And those veterans, by the proceeds in which they make, also help other veterans. Not only that, but if you purchase... Hero Soap from Hero Soap Company with the link provided in the description of this video. You can help Monday Morning Racer. Use that link, use promo code MMR and subscribe to a company that's owned by veterans, supporting veterans, supporting Monday Morning Racer and it will give you a great product to give you a great shower experience where you will smell good, feel good, and know that you're even a hero by buying from Hero Soap Company. Thanks, guys.